Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Foundation. I'll be honest with you, I kind of felt like we've been spinning wheels for the last couple of episodes, but I think we are finally at a point now where we can really start to uh, push forward into the next stage, the next phase of Geekton here, uh, which is going to be the monastery that is going to itself tie on from the uh, the rather ridiculous looking church we've been building here by the side of the river. Um, yeah, we're going to keep that church as big as it is. That's going to stay like that because I don't want this to go much lower. At the moment, this still has a tick, so obviously 99% is still acceptable for it, but I don't want to risk it any more than that. But basically, the um, the space we're going to start building the monastery in is right here. Uh, all I did off camera this time was move the, uh, the third farm that was here down to here. Um, I think I'd already showed you that I'd moved a few other bits and bobs, and I've uh, set this area to be... Um, forbidden land at the moment so that the path uh, wears away and then uh, it's quite it works out quite well I think because we can just build the ba a basic monastery here that's going to start producing one of our uh, luxury goods but then once we're all set up and ready to expand this hexagon here um, will actually really nicely just cap off that and then we can just have the monastery out here on the cliff edge I think that's gonna look great uh, but right now we don't need to worry about that uh, everything else I'm kind of happy with we've got the cash I don't want to be doing anything crazy we, we're kind of okay with food we've got berries fish we've got bread we've got cheese I, I would like maybe slightly higher numbers on, on one of these but overall we seem to be managing pretty well and we've got a good supply of all of the different uh, building materials uh, even tools now as well are, are cropping up now we've um, I haven't built anything for a little while, but also we are generating a good amount of tools. One thing we've got a load of is marble, and we've got pretty much nothing to do with it. So one thing I might look at doing while we're waiting, um, because we've got to wait for the end of the month before we can upgrade uh, people to citizen. So while we're waiting, I might just have a look and see if any of these masterpieces are really worth us doing. We have a, uh, a fountain sculpture. There we go. We can't build another one of those. That's fine. Uh, we can do an automated fountain masterpiece, significantly improves the de desirability of an area. We have a gem encrusted cross masterpiece, which gives us uh, two clergy influence per week. We have an officinal garden masterpiece, which uh, re increases soldier recovery. And we have a lush garden masterpiece, uh, which means the building's splendor is increased by 200. So is there any of those that we could really sort of do with? Let's have a look on our estates. There we go. So currently our Kingdom Splendor is probably the lowest of the lot. We will need 40 Kingdom Splendor for that last trade bonus. And we have the Labor and the Clergy Splendor. So actually, a Kingdom Splendor then... Which one was that? Splendor? Building Splendor is increased by 200%. A Lush Garden Masterpiece. Um, as part of this fort, or this fort, actually wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, because it will help us build that... that, that that up a little bit yeah okay i did say that i wanted the fort here to to sort of take over this space so maybe just maybe we can actually look at doing that um let's go down to lush garden master please uh 27 building parts uh that one that's the one that needs to be far from other buildings yeah that's that's kind of no good for us then because we don't build things far from other buildings although I did say that we were going to increase this, and perhaps it's just, um, you know, that's just a way of doing it, I guess, is 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 built, is actually spreading the space out a little bit. We, I did say I was going to do that. Um, what I was thinking was if we, if we, uh, oh, turn off snap a moment. I don't want to snap to that building. I feel like the fort buildings would all be a little bit more separate, really. Um I don't know whether a lot of these extensions really do what we want them to do. Will they lift up? Oh, they will. Okay, so if they if they lift up, I'm I'm a little bit more um, interested in building them here. There we go. Uh, I know the doorways are probably going to be. Oh, that's that's not terrible there actually. I, I don't hate that. Uh, can we put one of these roof pieces on here? Nope. I will not accept that. Okay. Uh, oops. Let's turn that back off again for a moment. So this one is literally just a, a wood piece like that. Okay. Yep. Don't hate that particularly. Um, and then we'll have one of the... Now we can put one of these in here. There we go. 
I do I do like the idea of having this right up on the oh, where's the door where's the doorway side that way yeah I do quite like the idea of having this right on the uh, on the cliff face there very much enjoy how that looks uh, over there so I think we'll do the same here and we've got to have one of these uh, oops got to have one of those on top there haven't we yeah look at that very grandiose yeah the only thing is that's A little precarious as it is there. Oops. Are you gonna are you gonna snap for us any which way? There we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Need, needs a building coming off the side of it there, doesn't it? Else it's just not gonna make any sense. And we do actually have this uh, stone extension as well, which I which I kind of like as long as that rises up there. There we go. Um, I'm just remembering we did have. Uh, a different castle type building in one of the upgrades that we had which unfortunately doesn't seem to obviously not going to be part of this it was a, a an add-on but we can still make this look pretty good I think using uh, hmm what do we want I mean, just kind of just want some buildings on the side of these don't we really yep yeah, that's pretty good I think makes us lose that one but otherwise that's okay um, and a shorter one of those that will go hmm maybe if we actually untag that one hmm. yeah, it's a very 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 uh, oh, <laughs> very um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? A slope, very, very sort of ex extreme slope there. Unfortunately, uh, which is not good for what we're trying to do. Nope, 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 nope. That's not how I want any of this to go. No, nope, it's just this 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 bit here just does not want a building put onto it. Okay. Uh, no, that's too too flat and rubbish. That's no good. Okay, I just wanted to put a little building on there. Uh, maybe maybe something on the edge here. Yeah, I don't know why, but I actually quite like that. Decorative flag, definitely put a few decorative flags around the place. I'm quite surprised we haven't already got some decorative flags, actually. Um, okay, and then what I would like to do... Ah, I just realised that our berries are going to be terribly in the way. We can't be having berries all over the place, can we, like that? Huh. Do we Do we do something like that? No, don't like that there. I kind of like it as just like a lean-to. Maybe like that. Maybe it's more of a supporting wall. I don't hate that either. Uh, okay, doorway there should be okay. People should be able to access that, I feel. Uh, yeah, these berries will probably... What we'll probably do is move uh, this thing a little so it sits in with the building more. Uh, promotion's available, so I'm going to pause for a moment while we just figure out the end of this. Uh... I'll have a little look at how this sits. See, I don't I actually don't hate that either. I know it's I know it's kind of over the top to have all of that. I, mean, I can't even find where it look but it just looks a bit more natural, doesn't it, to have that built onto a thing there. Yeah, I think I might do that actually. And then we also have this little camp here which I kind of love. I'm going to put there. There's just some stuff. <laughs> and we'll do a chimney. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's going to build up our kingdom splendor a little bit. Uh, hopefully that doesn't get too much in the way of the monastery because we're going to go for it. Promotion available. Uh, we need to do 10 citizens and hope we can afford... Oh no, we don't need to do 10, do we? How many do we need to do? Two. We need two citizens. 
Promote to citizen. It's going to cost us 200 each. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two. The Splendid of your village has unlocked a new tier of sexy goodness. We have a fountain there. We have a cypress tree. Uh, we have a stone bridge. We also have the ability to make common wares, uh, candles. Uh, yes, gold and jewel that we still know better. So basically, common ware and candles is what we need. So common wares is exchanged for tools, planks, and iron. But I, I'm not sure. Is, is, are common wares even going to be a luxury item? I suppose the best way we can find out is coming here to our luxury item. No. Common wares... No, look, it's a common it's a common clothes we can do. So basically, we need to do herbs or honey. So let's see which of those is going to be the easiest to do. To do that, we're going to have to open the monastery. So herb garden. Uh, herb garden produces herbs. Apiary produces honey and wax. So let's go herb garden. I think we should be okay to just do all of these. Trade bonus... Uh, we just need the Kingdom Splendor that we're working on. We can also do Tax Office, is also the big one. And, oh, we didn't do that trade bonus either. There we go. So, Function Sandables are building parts. Generates additional income from collecting taxes from your villagers. Okay, so, we need to do that first, because that's going to start bringing in some revenue. I'm pretty sure that happens here in the Lord's Manor. Uh, click to assign a bailiff. So, uh, with the new office in place comes the opportunity to nominate a bailiff. This important manager will assist you. In your diverse stats, such as prospecting minerals, uh, courting the estates, and more. Oh, did we lose the one we had? We might have done. Soldier training in space. Job learning increases. Yeah, we'll go for that then. Select mandate. Oh, yeah. He, he must have cleared off. Okay, we'll go kingdom. Go for it. So, um... Tax office. Generates additional revenue by collecting taxes from your revenue. Yeah, there we go. So, let's... Set the uh, set this tower over here. This is going to be our tax office. And out of interest, can we have more than one? We have no people who can do it. Do we have any uh, villagers who are? Oh, who's not happy there? Miner. Oh, do you know what? The miners just get really overworked. They will get, She will clear off eventually and go back and, and sort of fill her uh, resources up. But for now, yeah, it's pretty rough. Uh, oops, sorry for knocking the microphone. Okay, let's have a look. We've got anyone who's ahead of a job. A woodcutter level one. There we go. So you are no longer a woodcutter. You are now a tax officer. Okay. So where did we, where are we able to see? Let's have a look this month. Trade. So previous month we ended up making six eight. That's pretty good. So this month market income, tavern income. The tavern makes us a hell of a lot more than I thought it was going to. That's great. Quests make us a bit. And trade with other places. So I can't see tax there. Perhaps it might not start until next month. I don't know. Tax office building is now available. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. But everyone's currently working. So we'll turn immigration back on for now. While well, everyone's relatively happy. Okay. Right, that's that done. That was the first thing. Hopefully that'll bring us in some revenue. But we now have lots of citizens all waiting for uh, all the fun and games. We have nobody to promote to surf. Um, I'm not gonna. Should I do my soldiers? They require luxury, and we just we just don't have it yet. No, I think instead we do need to work on the monastery. There we go. Religious complex of buildings, including domestic quarters and workplaces for monks. Okay, well here goes nothing. Um, it's a beautiful building. It requires a lot of stuff. I think herb garden. So wine production. Vineyard produces grapes. The grape produces wine. Apiary produces honey and wax. So, okay, so the apiary just makes stuff. And it's 30 planks and 5 tools. Um, the herb garden, um, there we go, produces herbs. And it only costs 5 stone. I think we just get both of them up and running then, don't we, to be honest with you. Uh, abbey A. So what do we need? We need an abbey and a, and a door. Okay. Wait, do we want a brown roof or do we want a purple roof? Oh. 
Not sure about the purple. Blue. Brass. The brown probably more keeping in with this building, isn't it, I guess? Uh, okay. Well, I suppose having it here. As a beginning is probably a good start. I'd like it there. That kind of goes nice. Uh, what's it going to cost us to build? Gla oh, we have glass, don't we? Are we making glass? Yeah, we have loads of glass. We have loads of regular stone. Tools and planks and polished stone we're doing okay for. What I wonder is actually... we no, here's what we Here's my problem. We don't need that, do we? Uh, we need the smallest abbey they have. They're both the same, so we'll build that one. And that, in turn, also needs a door on it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that irritating? Let's move it over this way a little bit, so we can get that door on the side. It'd be really nice if we could really tuck that in, but... Let's see if any of the others work a bit better. Yeah, that, that works better this way. Actually, not much the other way. Well, uh, okay, okay. Maybe there. No, that doesn't work either, does it? Oh, see, what I don't, what I don't want to do is build a huge building. We need to have it built quickly and efficiently. But all of these don't particularly work very well because they they don't drag themselves down like uh, like the other ones do. I suppose we could do that. That doesn't look terrible. Most of it'll be hidden. See there, look, it doesn't it doesn't go into the ground like uh, like a lot of the other ones do. Well, I guess for now, it'll have to do because that's all I actually need it to be is an abbey with a door on it, and then we'll go. Then we'll get the uh, the apiary, which is an external building. So we'll eventually have this to be sort of walled. So I kind of like the apiary. Almost towards the, the this area here. So we'll have you there. And then we also must have the uh, herb garden built. You say too far, like there's literally where it's where it is. So what is this? Where's the entrance to this room? There isn't one. I don't understand what it means by too far. That's that point there is literally the starting off place. Okay, so I would like it to be is like there. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you mean by too far? Like there's the point lock. Let's just bring that back to where we're going to want it to be. This can go there. Okay. Herb garden, too far. I guess it isn't too far from that point. It's too far from the main abbey building then. Hmm. Okay, well, it is what it is. Can we get it onto there somewhere then so it doesn't look ridiculous? I don't hate that. Let's whoops, see if we can line it up a little better. Like that. It kind of looks like it's part of it. And then I guess it needs a door. Okay, and then we'll finish off with this. Uh, yeah, this needs to be over here. Because we also have, we have this sort of uh, 
this, the ability to build these things, but they I don't know necessarily whether they stack well. No, they kind of do, don't they? But then that, that side isn't going to, is it? There we go. It's going to start going to the ground. So we need a relatively flat area to look at building something like that. Although we do have a nice little tower that we can put somewhere. Oh, maybe... Oh, no, I'm doing the doing it again. Right, okay, that's that's the bare minimum. That's all we need. Go for it. Build that, please, as quick as you can, my little peons. Okay, let's see if this works, because the, the, um, the herbalist building has gone up very quickly there, which is great. The rest will take a little bit longer, but I'm going to concede a villager to the monastery. Concede a villager to the monastery. No, that hasn't worked. So do they need to be... Once conceded, a villager will live and work solely for that monastery. We have two people here, villagers unemployed. Hmm. Why Why can I not? Maybe it only works... Maybe it only works when there's a door? When the whole thing's built? Hmm. All right. We'll, we'll sit and wait. I got all excited. Monastery built. Now, I'm really hoping that if I press this button... Oh, no. Does this just not work? Do I have to set the building to be... Ha ha Dorms. Heads, there we go. Heads is up to ten. Right. Now, I should be able to... Because I, I want ten... I want ten monks. I can have seven. <laughs> seven is what I'm allowed. Okay. I would like ten because... The last thing to do on our estates page here is for 10 monks who will give us a candle workshop and a monk statue. That'd be pretty good. But here we go. The new people. I love this. New people come to the city. Hey, look, we really love what's going on here. Any chance of a, some work or a place? Get in there. Be a monk. Oh, okay. Um, that's great. So there you go. <laughs> they can get in there now and be a monk. Monk. They get their monk on. They're gonna get their monk on. Okay, I don't really know what they do other than like they, you know, they look after the bees. Ooh, hey, look at him go! <laughs> Watering his bees. Um, no, he's using like a smoke thing, isn't he? Isn't that what they do? It's like they smoke them out a bit, chill them out. Yeah, you get that smoke bees. That's awesome. And then over here, do we see any much of a, a herb herb garden? Is this one? Hmm. Okay, well, do we now start to make the herb garden look more like a herb garden? Again, my worry is that with with the actually that isn't that bad. I'll say with the, with the um, extreme uh, sort of sloper on here that this won't actually look that good. But I actually think that looks pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, it looks better there than it does there actually. So how about? How about we do a few along here, and the bees can populate the herbs as well, can't, can they not? I mean, you know, not actually, but you know, as far as we're concerned, they can. Uh, okay, you, you get you get building those. Oh, they just go down. Oh, I love it. I love it. You know, you know, we love all this kind of stuff, all the little extra bits and bobs. Now the building's up and running and functional. We can we can afford to. Uh, to do this. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a big one. Um, okay, is that is that the fence we've got? That, why doesn't that not look like the fence we built elsewhere here? Is this just market fence, this one? Oh, it is as well. Specifically just market. Well, that's no good. Um, Alright, well, it's okay. We can do it. We can do what we want to do. Because what I would like to do is, um, is build four of these. Oh my word, have I got to do that every single time? Is it sh is it shift lets me do more than one? Yes. Yes, there we go. Oh, okay, didn't, didn't work on that one for some reason. Okay, and then in those. Yes, there we are, the beginning of our, uh, our lovely herb garden. I beg your pardon, I never promised you a herb garden. So we've got a granary down here. Where is it? Here it is. There are zero herbs, zero grapes, zero wine, but there's 12 honey there, which is pretty good. Um, so now what we need to do 
is I say this, nobody's moaned so far, unless maybe their comfort shortage, just in general happiness has slipped a little bit. But for the most part, nobody's actually moaned. Why is there's no there's no path blocking there? Like if there's a one door in, one door out. Stop you calm your passions, Abby lovers. Um Herbs, is it is it happening? Is the herb thing happening? Herbs are signed. He's he's they've made zero herbs. I wonder if produces herbs. Is there like a I wonder if there's a, a special. Does it have to run over? Does it work like the farms? Is what I'm trying to say. What stage are we in farming? Growing, so it may well be that we miss the growing clothes. That'd be interesting. Okay, the space for oh, the space for one monk. Okay, um, okay, all right. Well, we'll keep energy path box. What? No, it isn't, is it? Oh, don't tell me all the monks are getting stuck in there. It's literally one building. My my worry is that maybe on the side of the building it's a bit of a problem, but... Ah, cannot reach herb garden. But there's the herb garden door. It does suggest that they're not able to herb garden it up. Did I put a door behind here or something? No. That's a blank building, look. No access to comfort. I'm on my free time. Okay, well, are you going home to be on your free time? No, you're going get to your, get your church on. Okay. Get your water done. Get some food. And you're going to get your comfort? Yeah, so you have indeed access to comfort, so... Stop with your moaning. Stop with your moaning. Uh, hmm. Okay, better days are coming. Thank goodness for that. Definitely seems to be an issue here with the herb list because they are not making any herbs. It's telling me again that it's blocked. Does, I mean, does it, does it have to be connected? Hmm. Okay, well, if in doubt... Build it again is usually the uh, the way to go with these kind of things. Sometimes, you know, the game is pretty impressive how it handles uh, in-depth sort of pathing and stuff. But occasionally, because it's so sort of, you know, open, it does... Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that a lot. Uh, it does struggle a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just have to, unfortunately, get rid of the herb garden we have. Uh, where is it? Herb garden. Yep. Off it goes. Could have just been a problem. Uh, door C. Door C. Door C? Door C. There we go. Okay. And then hopefully... I mean, honey is cracking, so I'm not worried about that in the slightest. We've also got uh, wax coming in now as well, which is good. Um... But yeah, it does. It seems to be its own, its own, its own building that just doesn't have a doesn't have a doorway on it. Does it? It does want to snap. But not in a very attractive manner. Huh. I'm really not too sure what to do about this because. I want it to be... I mean, this isn't a terrible spot for it. That's too far, but that is fine. Which I find quite interesting. Okay, let's put it there. That's too far, isn't that crazy? And we'll just maybe try and connect it up. Is there like a... Extension D is pretty big. Uh, that's pretty big as well. I think I think the idea is is that we join them with this kind of thing, right? 
Is this how this works? We we the clo the cloisters. Like that? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> well, that might be actually, but we do not have the uh location. Huh. What's that one? Oh, that's the winery. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Um Well, I just I don't know what to do because I would like it very much to all be connected. I mean we can do we could do something like that. Which allows me to pull that out to there, which in turn means we might be able to cloister up to it. Whoops. Did I not? Uh, why? Why is it not? Why is it not um, snapping anywhere now? Okay, now their snapping's turned on. It does not want to snap to the side of that. Well, that's just fine and dandy. That will that will go onto there and in turn create quite a large Yep. Can't can't see of a way of making these all connected and looking lovely, so we'll keep that big building in there. And we'll come out to here with that. Actually I don't love that on the side of here. No, I don't. I was I, I was doing it for the sake of doing it and it's not worked. So how about because that this is where it needs to be, right? Like that's Where's, where's outside territory? Can we see territory, please? There we go. Ah, oh, that is that a problem? Is that maybe an issue? No, I don't think so. That's just how we've got it built, isn't it? Okay, let's try that. We'll click build on that, and we'll see if that's made any difference. Could not reach Herb Garden. No, Ferrandus, I quite imagine you couldn't, you little monk man. So what are you What are you doing there, Ferrandus? Do you still need to go and... Uh, get all the all the stuff you would need to be uh, getting yeah he still got to go to find his food still goes to church as well by the looks of things I mean it makes sense I suppose I don't know I just you assume the monastery to be sort of uh, self-sufficient don't you uh, yeah he's gonna go in there and get his comfort from there I suppose then because he does live there yeah there we go he goes back out for... Oh, he's walking with his friends now very closely. Where are you going now? Why are you going... If you're going to a well down here, you're going to blow my mind. Ferrandus. Ah, oh, no, you're walking all the way around. That's fine. Okay, so the reason... I don't. Again, I don't really know why you just didn't come and use this door. That, that should have been accessible. Is that... Have I made that too tight? For that problem maybe again could have been a problem with the herb herb garden oh that went up quick okay they're going up to that back door of it huh who what are you doing are you a transport? What are you? What have you got? What are you carrying? I am working. What are you? Oh, hold on. We can look at this, can't we? Are you carrying herbs? Ah, <gasps> you are carrying herbs. Okay, so now herbs are being produced in here, despite there being no door, which is blowing my tiny little mind. Do we add a door to it? He, yeah, he's just walking inside that place, eh? 
Well, let's try throwing a door on it. See if it makes any difference for them. Because if it does, then, you know, and that was the fix, then there you go. People are starting to use this door again. Yeah, I guess that was just too much because they, they were coming in and out of there all day. Okay, so we now have herbs and honey available uh, to purchase. So what we need to do now is go around all of our markets and basically add on the ability to sell herbs and honey. So uh, let's, let's do that. Here we go. We need to do... Um, and I think they're both clusters... Oh, are they classed as luxury? Herbs and honey. So interestingly, even though they class as food as far as the granary is concerned, don't even tell me you're stuck, Lamb Frank. No, I don't know who you are. Um, okay, I was thinking, I thought we got another herbologist problem there. Okay, sorry. Anyway, let's come to here. Let's go to these markets. So even though they class as food regarding the granaries, they do actually class as luxury goods uh, when it comes to... Um, how we sell them in a market. So we need to put these, I guess, one. Two. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully both of those are accessible. So let's go on those and have a little look. A surf left. Ooh, can you tell me why? No? 92%. Anything particular that's getting high? No, it's mostly just people struggling to get around the place and stuff. Okay. Uh, added on a few more buildings here, by the way. So this Lord Manor, just because we're capping out. Well, maybe not so much now, but we were capping out quite a bit. Um, so all of these we can add as... Treasury. Oh, by the way, the bailiff office is bringing in nothing, by the way. Tax office brought us in 21. It's bringing us 21 a day. Hardly even worth it. But, uh, you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, let's turn herb following there. So, yeah, herbs and honey. Um, what, and we're getting wax as well, aren't we? So we can start looking at candles too. All right. So I want to I want to see these get built and make sure that people are happy accessing them. Uh, honey, herbs, and eight people working them. Let's make sure they can get to them with them being so close to the stores. There, I love the little market stores attached to the houses, though. It's Really gets my uh, gets my uh, loins moist is what I want to say. I don't know why. Yeah, she's able to get there. She's able to get there. Okay. So there we go. Luxury goods are now for sale. And yeah, everyone seems happy there. Nice. It says monastery built. What did we build? Oh, we built that doorway, didn't we? Okay. And they're using it now as well, which is good. Okay, that's good. Um, all right, so they're now selling honey and uh, herbs. We should probably add it to this market down here as well because we've got some nicer houses here. They're gonna, they're gonna require it. So let's. What are we not selling here? Fish, bread, berries, cheese, and clothes. Fish, bread, berries, cheese, and clothes. So what are we not selling here that we are selling over here? Oh, did we already? Oh, we're already selling gems, aren't we? Ah, kind of, kind of want to not sell gems now, but I guess we have nothing else to do with them, so we might as well. We'll only leave them for sale there. Uh, okay, let's come into this market then and click here and click luxury goods. Um, oh, it's just kind of a shame that their little table is there because it. Yeah, that's exactly where I'd want it to be. Um, yeah, I guess I guess these couple of trees don't have to be here. And one there, and one. Huh. 
I mean, it really is, yeah, outside this house, but I know, I know pathing's going to be a problem. I guess here, that's not terrible. Um, that one needs to be green. And uh, that one needs to be green as well, actually. There we go. And let's click a... Let's put a goods sign here. Put a bit of rope in. We don't do enough of this. Some barrels, barrels by the well. I've got a vague memory of that breaking the well, but we'll try it. <laughs> um, a couple of benches. You want to have a little sit? If you want to have a little sit, you can come and have a little sit here. There we go. All right, build all of that. Good stuff. Okay, that's that one done. And then uh, we also have over here, not as... Uh, not quite as uh, important this one, but I still think it needs to be done. Because um, here currently, what do we do? We just have bread, fish, and clothes. So really, we need uh, we need to be selling cheese over here too, don't we? So bread, fish, and clothes. So let's do uh, berries. Let's come down here. Cheese. Oh, I hate villager pass being blocked. What, who's blocked? Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's fair. Because you're standing at the bottom of that thing, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. No access to water? Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, you're getting you're getting clipped there, aren't you? Okay. That's fine. We can, we can fix it. Uh, let's get rid of this box here. Um... Come on, where are you? Wooden top B, large forge, there we go, chimney, chimney, core, core. Stone extension, stone extension, small extension. Which one, where, which one are you? Extension D, there we go. Extension D, it's gotta go. That should now mean that she'll potter off when she needs to, okay. Uh, I'm assuming this is all the same people. Yeah, there we go. They're all going to get themselves sorted now. Okay, let's come back to here then. Okay, so food, food. So we have bread, fish. They're going to have berries and uh, cheese. Clothes. Um, so that so we have... That's it then, isn't it, for now? We'll have another... We'll have a luxury goods here. And another luxury goods here. Yeah. Blue, red, green, blue. Build. Okay, so all the markets are starting to get a little larger now. So this one is, uh, this one's done. And he's selling both honey and herbs. That's good. This one is uh, not done. He's now done. But he's also now needs to be selling honey and herbs. I need to give it a few more staff there. They'll go off and find the stuff they need. Uh, that one's happening over there. And then finally we have this one. Where it is going to start to trickle down the path here. But that's not terrible. Um, okay, so breadfish, clothes... So you also need two uh, foody ones. They can go next to each other here by the church. So one. Oh no, please don't snap. Nope, please don't snap. Uh, one, two, right in the church's doorway there for the food. And then luxury. There. And... There, unfortunately, the uh, the slope is pretty extreme there, but it will just uh, have to do, and then we'll snap those. I don't really hate I hate them overlapping, but I will just try and make it so they don't. Okay, uh, red, and a little blue. Yeah, 
they look a bit funky with it with it just being that extreme on the uh on the slope but it is what it is it'll be fine build all oh, right so that one's done that one's done uh this one is getting done as well yeah it already is that's great so berries and cheese and herbs and honey uh, we'll stick all of these more market folks here there we go, market's built, very nice. Whilst that last one gets done, come up here and make sure everything else is okay up here. I'm actually going to throw them. I would like a fountain, but I would also like a well. And the well is going to be more useful because they can actually use it for their own water. Uh, so food production, well, well, well. You can have that right there. There we go. And... Yep. Yeah. I do want to move this, but I don't know where to. Maybe just the corner there. It just sits in that building. That would be okay, wouldn't it? I think that'd be okay. It might mess up this door. We'll double check on that. Just because it just seems weird having its back to this space here. Oh, I realise we have a well right there, and we're just building one there. Hmm. Maybe this well can go. Because, like, there's one there and there's one there. There doesn't need to be one in between. I, th that's happened in other places as well, to be honest, where I've stuck wells without really paying much attention. If you look, I usually always try and keep one in the middle of the markets because that just, that's just easy and clear. Obviously, there's one. But I know, like, here, look at this. <laughs> so, one of those can go. Uh, which one looks better? Probably one in between the two of them would be the best. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of both of them. Yeah, and build a new one that encompasses the zone. There you go. Well, well, well. One up there, that's fine. And then one here, yeah, within that market. Like I say, I try and keep them around the markets if I can. Uh, one over here, that's okay. Yeah. Put the put the sheep statue in there. By the way, um, yeah, there is a uh, there is the uh, uh, possibility. Now we have ten monks. There we go. Um, we have the uh, the ability to now build a monk statue as well. I think. Let's have a look. Ah, we need three more clergy influence. Okay, uh, send the bailiff out for some. Go for it. Uh, we have additional parts available for the candle workshop. And the spend yes, we know that. Okay, well there you go. Because uh, I think maybe when this shifts, is that done? Man, people are getting stuff built. Okay, it's if we get rid of that one, this should just fill up with foragers straight away. One, two. Oh, he'll do it on his next day in, I guess. But otherwise, yeah, they seem like they weren't that bothered there. I'm thinking a monk statue could go quite nice here, just in the entrance area of the place. Um. And now we know we're happy with that, we can add on a little bit to this. People don't... People are not quite using the paths here, so I I cleared out a few um, uh, forbidden land areas here, look. So, I'm going to change those back out now, just because the... the, the oh my word, that's bright. Uh, the paths were getting a little silly. They were they were building pathing all over the place, and same here. Like there's this line here. Look, that's almost gone. Um, I'm, I, I just hate them coming down this hill. I know it's a slog for them to come around the estate here, but I'm hoping that if I get rid of this, they're not going to keep using it. Because if they are, I'll put it back in again. I don't care. Well, they are as well. A little so and sos. Um, no, it's forbidden. It's forbidden. Do not. I know they really want to use that bit, don't they? But <laughs> Oh, maybe I should just let them. Whatever. What? <laughs> Whatever. That's where you want to go. That's where you want to go. I was just, I'm honestly more just trying to, uh, whoops, more just trying to sort of find spaces for some more housing. Um... 
you know, without having to expend the, the place a little bit. So we have that area there, this area here. These are all little prime estates for two or three houses, you see. So same here, where they just won't build them in past, which is why you end up with these big spaces around some houses where they've moved them. Whereas in the beginning, you, you find they squeeze a lot more in, you know. Um, but that's okay. That's not a major problem. Major problem. Uh, the only thing I want to do just before I finish up then for this one, I enjoyed this episode. I hope you have as well. It's always nice when we actually get something sort of done. <laughs> uh, I'm going to open this all up here. I know it seems just a bit silly that these folks are just standing guard to nothing, by the way, but. Can I, can I get rid of you? There we go. It's you that I want. Uh, there we go. I'm going to bring you up here. And then I'm going to take you down into there. There we go. And that's just going to be the the edge of the fort there. We'll have that area. And on this side, we'll have this one. And then we'll continue that. On the corner here. Oh. It's, isn't that strange how it changes? Um, and at the moment we still have this, these, uh, this gathering happening in these bushes here. But I, I suppose that's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to think about what what I want to do there. But I kind of want to box off the the little fort area. You see, that's the. That's the plan, so we'll have a think about that one in the next one as well. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, be good. Bye.